but oh. wow, Vane coming through again in Uzi. They've dropped one game this series at 101. They decide to go somewhere else. Gonna leave the Twitch on the table and immediately again. Uh, nice drink at what? All right, they see each other. They both know what's going on. And Looks like no harm, no foul. They walk right back out of this one. The flash forward. He's going for the big play. One more attack. Shahu heals. One more hit. First play to the mid lane. And it's an execute because there is no damage dealt. Worth it in all chat. Baker a bit perturbed after the <laughs> mid lane incident here. He's coming for his wrath to camp down. Good smite actually. Blank grabs that one. The stun could be landing. The taunt in there as well. And not quite the damage kill on Blank, but now with the jump, they have this one. Hootie might TP to save him. Will they do it? Cell nope. Division is popped, running out of health, and who's going to get the kill on this one? Shaohu. Yeah, you say that's all they want, but that's a lot to ask for. Here comes Blank, though, mid lane. The taunt hit confirms the knock, and this could be enough damage. Let's bounce, brings him right into the turn. The knock back there as well. Perfect coordination for the SKT duo, and a kill comes through to Blank. But there's so much pressure on mid lane, they haven't found the opportunity. Here comes the big play, the flash, the sun up bigger. The rest of the team not going to come through just yet as the TP does come in for let me. Oh, Bounce brings it back in. Faker's been stopped. Yulti not quite going to land, but the rest of CC is still going to cut through. Faker running for his life, but no summoners to save him now. The rest of the chase should be just a formality, and Uzi shows up crucially. Switching the battlefield to top side, pushing the Maokai and taking Rift Herald is the next step, but suddenly we go to half step here, guys. versus two. No turn behind. Behind the TP stop, but it's still 3v2. Turned invulnerable. Buys a few seconds. The knock up there. But Uzi's trying to stay alive. The barrier in. He's still surviving. And now he's turning it around. Looking for Blank. Looking for the chase down now on the bank. Pop Yogi Stun gonna land. One or two of in, but Faker gonna join. Flashes forward. They won't quite catch up Blank, but now it's the Galio's turn to get the damage across. Shields coming in, and they can't find the kill. And Uzi to get his second 5-2 RNG. Xiao Hu is on the bottom side, and they want to use the numbers advantage to grab back some turret. Lemmy wants to stand there 1v4 and buy some time. Won't take the cross by this stun, but Lemmy loses his life as the Maokai. The big AoE slow comes across. Doesn't mean all that much. They're still running away. Blank, actually, you've got to be kidding me. Well, no one's stopping it. Goodbye, turret. Meanwhile, find the top side looking for Bang. They run him up the chase forward. He flashed the safety, but one more shot will do him in. And Shahu finds it. Faker, now a missed four. The push is in. Do they have the damage they need to kill him off? The chase continues in. And he's not going to be long for the world. And they're invulnerable under the turret. That's going to be number three. Cell Division be damned. They will get the damage. You've got to believe it'll happen. A double kill for the Fade. For Uzi, 4 and 2. And again, such intelligent shot calling here from RNG. They know they want to abuse their item power spikes right now, so they drop the Rift Herald top as a distraction and run straight through mid. This seems unstoppable now. Who's even going to block this Baron kill? It's Uni on a Camille just running away, taking Krugs. As yes, a secondary the Rift Herald from ages ago. The Rift Herald is actually still alive. They're going to get the big brother of the Baron as well. Maybe a historic matchup, but RNG have never taken two it games in a best of five over SKT. To go up 2 1 would be history being written. Well, we've seen the two ones be turned back before here at Worlds. You can never count them until they hatch. But RNG hoping to count those chickens all the same, pushing into the mid lane, looking to end it with this Baron push. Sub 23 minutes of stun in the back line, Bang jumping away. The wave's gone in the mid lane, they gotta buy a little bit more time. During this time, Huni is split pushing for SKT. They bring in Let Me, he's kidnapped in the back line. No buster to put him in the fountain, though, buying a bit more. And now onto the turrets a little bit longer. The Cosmic Radius buys a few more seconds as well. And Faker taking a lot of damage, forced away. Turret number one falls. The health bar's getting a bit low, but they've got to respect this. There could be a 5v4 because Camille is still pushing. Huni is still answering the siege from RNG. Xiaohu brought in the minion wave to try to finish the game, get the turret because the split push continues. Here's the turn. The flash re engage. Can they kill Faker? Because Camila's not stopping, they will knock down the mid lane, unstoppable, and Uzi is himself, and Wolf is going to be skinned as well. Here's the teleport now, Hooney needs to keep his team alive, five versus three, to win the game, to go up two and one, Uzi on the fountain, flashing away, getting away from Hooney, looking for the damage up, but can they get rid of Yes, they can, no one left to stop them, RNG are a single game away from making history. See the look on Bang's face. He is devastated. RNG once again against this Galio comp for the third time in a row.